Damn, running out of space in here, but we'll make it work. Brando, you ready for some more shop evolution or what? We got a fiber laser on the way and another CO2 laser. Should be here any minute, waiting for the big truck. We got the forklift. Got the Cadillac six foot forks. Anyhow, all right, we're just waiting for this thing to bend the block. It's gonna be enormous, I can already tell, man, just by the PDF document. Shop evolution. What can I say? That's what it's always the six foot forks, so it should work, man. I mean, I know it's sketch, huh? We'll just pick it out of there and do what we can. This is gonna be fun. All right, I've unloaded a lot of machines into my shop. But so far, this is, I think, the biggest one. 140 G's sitting right here. Damn. All right, well, time to get the forklift and give it a shot. Yeah, they need to be spread out. No way I can do it before it's even on the screen. Okay, right over here right now in this area? Yep. It's easy though. You got about... It's really hard to film and watch what's going on here. I know. So. Listen, I'm not used to this work like this. I love that shit. I mean, I think you're good to drive that. <laughs> Laser machine? Huh? Laser machine? Laser, yeah. Laser. Yep. Makes me pucker a little bit. I'm right there with you, boss. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Feel better? Yeah, I feel better. <laughs> All done, it's offloaded. Are we good? We're going down. This is one big. Time to get busy. 
But you know what? It wouldn't be right if I didn't unbox this the proper way. Hey, grab a steak knife. Oh. You can use one of those later, but we gotta start out with the steak knife. You're forgetting all the essentials. Oh yeah, we need the uh, tin snips too for the for those bands. Exactly what we're going for. Yeah. Um, tin snips. Probably end up needing a drill at some point too, but I don't know. In my hand right here. You're good. You're good. You're good. We've done this a few times. We're we're becoming seasoned vets. This is number six. KK just showed up. All right, so here's the deal. This thing's gonna take us a minute. And it's a lot of stuff that's like, I don't know, not worth letting film roll the whole time. So we're gonna jump into time lapse. But we got the trusty steak knife here. It'll get the job done. He has a steak knife over there. We'll get it handled right now. We got the steak knife. Was it in your way? Joe was having a bad day today. He just stepped on a track blaster. All right, I'm not exactly sure where it's staying, but it is in the building. I'm gonna bring it right over here. Probably move some shelves around tomorrow. Yeah, just push it up against the shelves for right now, and then I'll move that other stuff later. This way, or like yeah, we're going up against these shelves. Okay, I'm going to come help in a second. Oh, you guys got it. That's good to see. <laughs> she showed up just in time, man. Goddamn kids. Yep. All right, so that shelf later. After I go home and take a nervous poop, which I'm not going to put that in my video, but after doing. I go home and come back, I'm going to move all that stuff around. This yeah. is where it's going? All right, so it's in the shop. We got some hookups to do. We got the chiller right here. We're going to move this thing over there. Those shelves right there are moving out of the way. It's going to go that direction. All right, so the plan is to eliminate this shelf, move it out of the way somewhere else. Bring the fiber laser over Put here. The other laser that's coming in on Monday over there. It's a little bit smaller. It should be good to go. It'll fit in here pretty nice, actually. So that was an amazing unboxing. Now all I gotta do is hook it up as soon as the technician from Laguna gets here, and my electrician's gonna have to get here in a couple of days to get this all ran. We should be ready to cut metal real soon. For right now, getting it in here is a challenge. It's in. It looks good. It's not taking up as much space as I thought it would for being how big it is. We're going to get by just fine. Stay tuned for more videos coming up as I cut through some pretty thick steel with this thing and some really thin stuff too. Should be fun.
Set her down. Right here? Yeah, we'll roll it in. What do you do? He's driving around blowing tires. He's driving around blowing tires? Yeah, on a trailer. I didn't see it. Wheel this bad boy on into its new home. We're over there next to the other one. Ready? Yep. Tell me what are the difference between a CO2 and a fiber laser. The fiber laser is the big one in this video. The other three are CO2 lasers. The difference is the CO2 lasers, they cut acrylic, they cut plastic, they cut wood, suede, cardboard, they cut all kinds of stuff. Paper, whatever you want. They won't cut metal. The fiber laser, it cuts metal. Stainless, regular steel, copper, aluminum, etc. So that's the main difference. Oh, and the cost. The cost difference is ridiculous, but it's going to be so worth it. Just watch what I do. Although I have plans to cut a lot of thinner gauge metal, this machine is capable of cutting 3 8 inch steel with no problem at all. Perfect cuts. They said it will cut even thicker than that, possibly up to a half inch. But of course the cut degrades the thicker you get past what it's rated for. But it will cut like crazy. 1500 watts is no joke. Can't wait to get started on something. Good man, that's good. No better late than never. Laser number four is in the house. Three CO2s and a fiber. You know how we do it. You know what's cracking tomorrow, Brandon. We gotta put this thing together and get to cutting. And in a couple of days, that one will be cutting. We're gonna be in action. Tons of room in this shop. Look at all this. Oh, we're creeping on the car area, but we still got lots of room. Still comfortable. Look at all these machines. Shop evolution at its finest. And we're out of here. See ya. <laughs>